Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here with TXP3 Championship Sunday. We've had a lot, and I mean a lot, of Call of Duty played yesterday, and we're going to have even more. Well, actually, probably not even more to play today, but it's going to be a <laughs> lot more interesting, a lot more exciting. There's going to be a lot more on the line tonight as everybody is here playing for the grand prize. And, of course, the money that lies inside. There's nothing in here right now, but they are also competing for money. And, of course, the glory. Exactly. There's so much glory to be had as well. We're going to have so many glorious battles here today. We've been whittled down. Now we know where these teams stand. And we're just going to see the best of the best here today. Battling it out for these grand prizes in this here trophy. So I'm so excited to see what we have in store. But let's take a look at the players we have here out on the stage. Those are the ones that are going to be doing the real work today. Oh yeah, they're going to be doing the hard work of killing each other mercilessly in Call of Duty for our entertainment. And they've been doing a pretty damn good job at it, all things considered from yesterday. And I'm not expecting anything less from them today. They're going to continue to deliver a fantastic fantastic show and I can't wait to see what we have in store but you know we kind of cut off the action a little bit earlier last night because there was just too much Call of Duty to cover. Uh, over <laughs> the uh, end of last night, there were more games played, and some of the results might surprise you. I know that Saints ended up going down 0-3 against Nobility Rising. They're now in the lower bracket. They beat Vibe Tribe 3-0, and they're going off against Day by Day down there in the lower bracket. Um, but GG Supernova overcome against Day by Day. It was a tight 3-2 game. Pulsive beating Night Ops and Penj all day losing to uh, Chaos. Yeah, it's interesting because last we saw saw PenJ all day, they were absolutely cruising mm -hmm. through the bracket. But now, it's strange to see them in that loser's bracket. And now, I'm excited to see that I haven't personally casted the ones up there in the winner's bracket. That being uh, Nobility Rising and Chaos there. That is going to be an absolutely explosive match there in the semifinals. But... Continuing to look around at all these matchups, there's still some good in all of these matchups, even there in the loser round. I'm, I'm just, just I'm just noticing. I'm not sure if the seating on here is correct. I know challenge uh, people struggle with it sometimes, but if looking at this right, day by day, first seeds losing to GG Supernova, the last seeds for the top uh, winners bracket. So that potentially a huge upset uh, already to start things off today would be very interesting to see how things continue going on i do remember pulsive and day by day were definitely very strong competitors yesterday gg supernova also um showing they have a lot of resilience a lot of power in their tanks in the reserves so hopefully everyone's going to be firing full out of all cylinders today but again to have things starting off today for the round two that we're going to be covering we're going to have gg supernova versus nobility rising at the same time we got pulsive versus chaos and we're going to be covering Nobility Rising versus GG Supernova as we get started on this hard point map here. We're going to see if these teams have what it takes to come out on top in this best of five to make it even closer to the Grand Finals. And we're already going to see the first blood of the day, Pele taking down Kanwa. <laughs> and uh, it's already looking to be a hard contest. Yeah, already an insane start. Pele getting a triple kill. And then I think one of his wow. teammates actually killed themselves with a grenade there. A little bit of a <laughs> self detonate there. But Pele oh, getting a triple and Kanwa. We're getting two. This is an explosive map, like we said. It's, everything's really blowing up here, intentionally or otherwise. Even if it's a teammate, you got to sacrifice, you know, some of your teammates to put on a good show, and I respect them a lot for that. Going to be taking the hard point now, and amidst all that chaos, mobility rising, eking out the advantage over on the point, taking it up to 20 points now. GG Supernova with 10 seconds left. I think they're going to start getting prepared to look at the next hard point, which conveniently spawned right on top of Frizzy. Yeah, it's, it's very convenient for them indeed, but it's not going to be too convenient trying to hold it as GG Supernova is just utterly in control right now and in control of the next point as well. Wow, just going prone avoiding those bullets is absolutely amazing there. Trophy system set up as well. It's going to be tough to breach this one through, but Kanwa going on the back line, going on the flank, and now going forward through in onto this point with this team, and now it looks like Nobility Rising is in control here. Ooh, this uh, this part of the map, I've seen some very crazy things happen on this. Yesterday, I was looking at another Call of Duty Championship match, and I believe it was Atlanta Phase pulled a last-second clutch here. Maybe we could see something just as exciting over here today. And it is pretty tight right now. GG Supernova we tying up the score. Oh, we got a stick. Wow. I thought we were playing Call of Duty, not Halo. I guess some wars <laughs> never die. Some rivalries never go away. Trying to get a wall bank potentially. But 15 seconds left. This looks to be the uh, Nobility Rising taking the rest of this hard point. 
not worth fighting for those scraps. I'm gonna see if they're gonna try to get the advantage over on this next hard point, spawning up in three seconds. Yeah, but it looks like GG Supernova is getting a lot of kills. They're good at controlling the pace of the gunfights. Mm. It looks like they have control of this next hard point with nobility rising just time and time again and somehow sneak back into those points. But I think this is Supernova's time to try and go into the driver's seat here. Conwa getting one, trying to breach in through. Choco getting another. That's their opportunity. They seem to get on the hard point as Conwa finds two, but there's three Ooh. on the other side like that. Like that, it's a lesson. We're going to school, ladies and gentlemen, and these guys are the lecturers of the college. We're here at St. Clair College after all. Frizzy giving a lesson to Conwa's skull right there. He's going to get taken down from behind, but 20 seconds left on his hard point. They're fighting very hard for it, and they are going to earn their keep over here. Uh, GG Supermarket, we're going to steal that one out after a nice kill from Pele, but he's taking some bullets to the legs there, not to the knee, thankfully. Uh, but just seven seconds left on this hard point. Looks like a Nobility Rising already taking control of the next hard point, at least trying to secure it for themselves so far. Yeah, trying to keep themselves in the lead in their noble positions. They don't want to give up their lordship just yet. Now J-Ray is going in here, trying to open things up for his team. And there's three on the side of GG Supernova, and that's going to be the hardborn going over to them. And Bele getting another one as well. A melee on top of that. A wall bank melee and a headshot. Three different icons. <laughs> he couldn't ask for anything more special. Pele, truly a showman. And they're going to be making their break towards that hard point. It's contested, but they're going to get the advantage. GG Supernova. Pushing through, holding the point. One's gonna go down, contested yet again. It's just an onslaught. Pele trying to break the stalemate. Yes, he does, but a grenade from Frizzy's oh, gonna no. take him out. Unfortunately, the multi kill gets taken out by his teammate Frizzy, trying to atone for his sins, but not gonna find it in this lifetime. And he's gonna go down. This is gonna be Nobility Rising taking control of this hard point for another 10 seconds. Gonna be at 90 pretty comfortably here. Going to the next one, however, GG Supernova seems to have the early advantage. Dabo taking down Bowie from behind. A surprise attack, sneak attack, and wow. now next hard point's up, GG Supernova they seem to have full control of it for the time being Yeah, they have absolute control over all these kills, it's just Nobility Rising is just in the lead, still in driver's seat and now GG Supernova needs to get a really good lead here on this hard point, Jerry and Pele doing a great job of being kings of the hill, knocking everybody down, they're playing the high ground amazingly, chucking two grenades doesn't find all too much, but Bauli finds one through the wall, and now up top Risky Eye gonna go down to J-Ray J-Ray is not to be trifled with here, taking down Bobby once again, contesting that point, but J-Ray with the five killing spree is gonna fall eventually, but doing God's work to make this point as available for his team as possible, finding his way in. Frizzy coming through, but he's gonna get taken down by Bowie off the sidelines. A great flank by the team. J-Ray trying to come back in, but he's gonna get taken down by Choco. Now it's just 10 seconds left. These teams are so close, not even, uh, not even seven points away from each other. It's gonna widen just a little bit more here as this hard point starts to dissipate, but this is still anybody's game. This is anybody's game, and that means these trash times here are going to matter more and more. J-Ray getting another double kill. I need to applaud him. He just keeps on giving some good stuff for his team here. Dabo moving in on the point behind the cashier desk, ready to check some people out. There it is, going for a little bit of a kill right there, but now it's going all GG Supernova's way. They find three. There's only one left on the side of Nobility Rising near the hard point, and now they're crouching down. They're looking for some stuff here, going for the reload. Oh. Just trying to stay alive, but the cashier at the checkout line is saying, no, you cannot go forward, <laughs> as Nobility Rising rushes through and goes to the parking lot and gets in here. And what? there's a grenade, grenade as well. These grenades are going crazy in this game. I think we've seen at least 10 grenade kills. Half of them have been team kills, but thankfully that one <laughs> wasn't. Oh, with a double kill. Conwa standing nice and peacefully, completely uncontested. No one's even going to try to stop him on this point. They know it's fruitless, but these teams are tied up again, Matthias. This is so close. <laughs> and like you said, it's a great point. These scrap times are going to matter more and more and more as this game goes on. So I really can't even call them scrap times anymore. They're precious, precious resources. That's going to be the difference between your team winning or losing this game one of this best of five. Exactly. One man's scrap is another man's treasure as they need this more than ever. They're looking to be pirates here going to Woo! steal. And a look at that swashbuckling jump right there, getting two kills, three kills on the side of GG Supernova. Oh. But Bowie going to stay, keep his team in this. But Davo going to answer right back. 
dude, I swear, it's just like Mirror's Edge all over again, watching them parkour around <laughs> these buildings, shooting in the back. He didn't really do that in that game, but hey, close enough, and I'll take anything I can get at this point. J-Ray taking down Risky 80, Choco going down as well. Frizzy, it's just all blue on that kill feed on the left side, red all on the right, and it seems that GG Supernova has found out whatever they needed to do to get the advantage that they've just carved their way into right now. Risky AD gonna go down to Frizzy, didn't check his corners, that's the first thing they teach you in military school. You gotta make sure you're paying attention to the lesson plans, my friend. Otherwise, you're gonna be losing your point deficit. Now, we're gonna be seeing Nobility Rising taking early control, but GG Supernova stealing it right back. And I got a comment on this. GG Supernova now have a 50-point lead mm -hmm. on Nobility Rising. This is the biggest point lead we've seen in quite some time. And now, look Ooh. at that. Double kill on their side as well. They're looking to maintain control of this game into the future, but now the point has flipped. It's back in Nobility Rising, and they need all the time they can get here to keep up with Supernova. They're almost just 40 points away from winning this game, but Nobility Rising now having full control of this point, but GG, Nova, GG Supernova taking control of it right back. The nade is gonna get shut down <laughs> by the trophy system right in front of his face. Hope he was wearing goggles for that one, but Nobility Rising still fighting hard. 40 point deficit between these teams, and it looks like they're fighting very hard to get this one back. I don't think GG Supernova is gonna be able to take this one back for them, and again, might be better off spending their efforts trying to take control of the other one. They already have two down there at the next hard now there's just GG Supernova operatives in this area and if they can make their way to the point that's exactly what they're gonna do they're 50 points away from taking this game if they can hold this one completely until the end they will have this game in the bag it's all up to nobility rising to make sure that does not happen they need to get in on this point contest it at least just a few Woo! seconds a trade comes out it's back in nobility's hands trade happens again it's back and forth here nobility needs to flip this point in their way it's in their control oh, and now bad. they are teed up up to even up the score line here. It's, oh, wait, no, yeah, they found it from behind. Nobility Rising kind of sneaking in Metal Gear style, but Ultimate is going to get stolen right back. We're going to see GG Supernova trying to clear the point, but two more coming in for Nobility Rising, contesting the point now, but GG Supernova going to take control still. They have that one in the back. It's going to get taken out eventually. Now, Nobility Rising, they're going to be able to get the rest of these points, thankfully narrowing the gap even more, but GG Supernova mostly having control of this next hard point. It's gonna be quite the battle for Nobility Rising to get control back, but already doing a lot of work coming from the side. He's gonna get that kill. Kanwa opening up for his team, and if they can get there in time, the reinforcements are arriving, but no, the flank's not gonna go their way. Pele and the rest of GG Supernova are gonna clear up. What a nade! Rising, a huge nade a from nade. his teammate, taking him out, and we're gonna be looking at 30 points until GG Supernova takes this game. Yeah, just 30 seconds are left for them on the hard point, and they have this one in the bag. It's that close to victory for them. Look Whoa. at that flag Whoa. from Choco. That's a game-changing flag right there. It's just Frizzy on the point, getting taken away by Risky. And another flag kill. And now it's in the control of Nobility Rising. They have the chance to even up the scoreline just that much closer. This is the closest game oh, of hard point I've seen yet. This is definitely a treat to watch, and I'm glad I get to bear witness to this incredible match. Pele trying to see if he can spot any heads out. He has control of the point right now, but with just eight seconds remaining, and again, these eight seconds are precious. Five seconds, they're gonna get the rest of it. They only need five more seconds on the point to win game one. In fact, just four, and they already have their feet on this next one, but Kanwa making sure it's not gonna last long. Choco and Kanwa doing God's work to clear this open, and it seems that GG Supernova, they're split up just a bit. Are they gonna be able to find their way before Nobility Rising digs their heels in and makes it impossible to steal it back. Frizzy taking down at least one flanker. Now, just Nobility Rising have two on the point and one on the flanks, but they're all coming back in 30, 20 seconds until Nobility Rising <laughs> takes the game. Chaco with a five killing spree. Dabo taking down one more, but clearing out the bar. Dabo's emptying it, but no, there's one more risky AD. He didn't find him, but just two seconds remaining. This is so close. Pele coming inside and getting one more. One, one second, second for the contesting it. They all Open it up, it's just Choco on the point, and he's not gonna give up 10 seconds until, and that's, this is gonna be the last hard point guaranteed. Who can take this one? Frizzy is gonna go down, the ability rising, right. they're so close. One more one second. second, they get it. The ability rising from the break of the feet, <laughs> and you can see it in their eyes. You can say, wow. don't, try to lip, don't try to read their lips, but <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, 
What a game! What a game indeed to kick things off! Holy moly! One second away, Nobility Rising brings it back from the brink, back and forth, rise and fall like empires here. I cannot believe that Nobility maintained it in the end. I mean... Ooh. Wow, what an explosive game one there, especially on hardpoint where usually there's a decided <laughs> victory. It's decided by one second. One second. That was, when I realized that was the last hardpoint, no matter what, because it was 10 seconds, both teams needed less than that to win. And even oh, if, if, if there was one second of contest, one, one second of contest. One guy steps back a little bit too far, gets shot, you know, that's another, it. Everyone has to wait for another hard yeah. point. And then it's just a sprint to see who gets there first. That would have been awesome. That would have been crazy. The great race rebooted. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, we got a little too uh, rough on the desk here. <laughs> Let's fix that up. But ladies and gentlemen, wow. that was just game one of a best of five. And I think I know why these teams have made it this far in the tournament. Exactly. That was absolute insanity. And now this is a best of five. We get to see more of these matches going forward. So maybe we got to pace ourselves here. But how no. can we not get that loud with how insane that was? I mean, wow, what a way to start things off. And what had... <laughs> I feel like it, this is worse than just a normal loss for GG Supernova. Yeah, no, it's yeah, like yeah. extra mental <laughs> boom right there. Of we were one second away, we were in the lead, we almost had it, and then it just kind of slipped away there near the end because Kanwa just locked in. Yeah, like dude, a I, soldier, like last stand, last man standing there. If you are bored at home, ladies and gentlemen, which you shouldn't be because you're watching this tournament, but if you have free time, feel free to make an edit of that last moment. Put the lock-in <laughs> song on. Get the guy in there, like straighten up his face. That was. That's actually, I, 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 I'm glad you said that. I physically saw it in his camera. He yeah. just, <laughs> and it just went. He's like diving down to he was, reloading. Ooh, he, didn't, he didn't take a single bullet damage no. there up behind the bar. I don't even know how he pulled that off. That was insane. My headphones are, are leaving me here in a second. But, uh, again, game one, Matthias. Yeah, game that was one. just game one. <laughs> I can't wait to see what we have in game two. That was just, dude, Vista, I feel like it's just a map. Like I said, I saw, I was just watching it with Logan the other day. There's, uh, there's uh, like a map. He just, he opened up the stream literally same situation three <laughs> seconds left this one guy just slides in just kills everyone and wins the game for his team i don't know what it is with this map but it's a vista of dreams I don't exactly know. Vista you got a nice vista of the most insane action you'll yeah. ever see the closest games but you know with all that being said with all the accolades that uh nobility has just gotten and now have to go to S and D and S and D even when the teams are not that close in power even if there's a big difference there in uh the first game Going to that second S&D, things can just flip on in their heads. Uh-huh, for sure. And S&D, again, a lot less forgiving. If you thought that one-second gap is unforgiving, S&D can be even scarier. It's the only real game where you're going to see, you know, 1v1s that can decide a series. A lot of pressure on these players. You lose your life, you're out of the round. It's first to six, thankfully, so eek, there's no room for mistakes, but you can make a, six mistakes uh, before <laughs> your opponent will end up taking the game. But... We're at least going to also finally get to see control. I don't think I got to see a single control game yesterday. Um, I think we saw like one or two, I but didn't. it was, uh, I don't know if I did either. But uh, that, yeah, I'm excited to see control because that's not something we've seen in a while. And, you know, we mainly cast collegiate and this is mm -hmm. kind of just a different space. It's like a little bit of a level up from there. And uh, it's just really interesting to see the different tactics of how they play. So I'm really excited mm -hmm. to see how control shapes up. Yeah, I, I, I really got to say, it's a different atmosphere entirely. These players, and obviously collegiate players the same, but we have the Saints playing in here, and they're no different. The level of competition, mm -hmm. the level of, of hunger these guys have for the game, the passion and the energy that they bring is unrivaled in some circumstances. Uh, unfortunately, sometimes Call of Duty doesn't feel the same way, so you have some technical <laughs> issues, which they're working very hard to resolve right now. And uh, like I said, it's just such an insane competition, and I'm enjoying every second of it so far, eagerly awaiting to get into this next game yeah me too i'm so excited to see these teams because you know even if these teams didn't have a rivalry before they do now oh yeah that last game decided on a point you could see it in both the players you could even hear it all the way <laughs> yeah. in there through the soundproofed room they can't hear us we're not even getting that loud they yeah. are screaming after every kill every after every win and uh you know, 
there's just so much built up already. I'm excited to see how this series shapes up. Yeah, they I they probably actually can hear us. We got speakers going on out there, and I know <laughs> they're screaming louder oh, than right. we are. Yeah. yeah, you know, so they, again, you can tell that these players are passionate about the game, passionate about the trophy, and maybe the money helps a little bit. But exactly. ultimately, again, we're here for the glory here at TXP3. Hopefully the Search and Destroy game can deliver even a fraction of excitement that that last game just did for us. But very excited to see what these players have in store. Yeah, and I have to agree with you right there. And... You know, the prize money, I'd be asking where it's going to, but it's probably going to be going to the ultimate gold edition version of <laughs> Call of Duty and then all the skins that come with that later probably. on. <laughs> yeah, I feel like like for, like Dota or for, like any other uh, high-level competition game, the, the pro players don't really care for cosmetics. I feel like COD players are different. They, they love oh, They love skins. the rainbow guns. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but they also like the, gun, the skins you have to earn, like the dark oh, yeah, camo and the ones you have to grind out a thousand hours for so you could just flex on everybody. 12th prestige. Twelve prestige. You gotta do your best to to earn and flex on everybody the power that you're capable of. But ladies and gentlemen, like I said, Call of Duty is a different beast sometimes. We're gonna have to throw this one to a quick break as they try to sort out the technical issues. Maybe the computers themselves couldn't handle the heat that that <laughs> game just brought. I know I can. I'm already sweating thanks to the heat uh, down here in Windsor. But ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you all very soon after a quick break. Don't go anywhere.
Hello everybody and welcome back to TXP3. This is Nobility Rising vs. GG Supernova Round 2, or Game 2 rather, S and D. Con 1 has the bomb. That's going to be Nobility leading the charge here over onto B. Yeah, and we're back here on Vista, where we saw so much chaos go through. Dabo almost getting things started strong with that first blood, but thankfully that bomb carrier has feet of feathers, able to really just turn on a dime and make his way back into safety. Kanwa getting the plant over on B site, and you recognize that they don't want to make any too, any plays that are too risky. You don't want to drop a player. You want to see if you can go for the four-man retake, and I think that's what GG Super is going to be playing for here. They got the utility all they need. Dabo almost getting another kill. Unfortunately, that one slips him by. J Ray finding the first blood on Sukanwa. And he's going to have to make this work for his team. They're slowly eking their way in, but Nobility Rise, and they're all falling one by one. Chaco, the last man standing here. Not sure if he has this one. Oh! Oh, bomb is down. It's a 1v1 situation. He's in a good spot, but not good enough. A little bit in the shallow waters there. Couldn't dive down far enough to avoid those bullets. That's going to be Pele getting the defuse and Supernova getting the first round. Tragic. That was so close. But hey, you know, GG Supernova bringing that one back. You know, maybe revenge from that previous game. If they just do that one five more times, maybe they'll have a lot more success. <laughs> just five more times the exact same thing. <laughs> exactly. how, how could you screw that up? It's so <laughs> easy. Kidding. Just the exact same situation. <laughs> But hey, now they're the ones attacking. Maybe it's not so easy. Nobility Rising maybe just made it look very simple. But as we get started in this next round, let's see how they're going to go approaching this one. I wouldn't expect it to be too much different. Teams, have to, teams seem to have the approach down to a science over on this map. So I get the trophy system, see if they can spot out any util, make them waste some stuff here. Chaco pulling on the sideline, spots Frizzy, but not able to get the kill. Unfortunately, Chaco. Seems to just be slipping that one up. Bowie finding a nade kill onto Frizzy. Not sure where that one was, but you got to be celebrating if you're uh, if you're the one that got that kill. Seeing if they can find their way over onto a site. Yeah, trying to make a way over on the site. And you said they had the same idea, but this is looking like a completely different tactic yeah. at this point. When you're down two men, you got to play a little bit more carefully. It's a stealth mission now. Can't go loud. That is not an option anymore. Has the sixth sense there, knows a guy that's probably around the corner, sees his head, gets him with the Renetti, but now it's a 1v3 situation as Pelly takes down Risky. It's just a 1v3, like you said, but oh, now it's a 1v3v nothing. Nobility Rising finding him from behind, not able to defend himself, and that's going to be a round for Nobility. Seems that these teams are still just as even as ever. And I'm excited to see how they're going to try to make this one, uh, find the advantage that they need to take this one through. I doubt they're just going to be trading the entire time. And if they do, I might just lose my voice. Exactly. Things are looking steady. This is kind of how we thought things would go so far. Mm. But it's dead even on the scoreboard. No one really getting an edge over the other. It's back in the hands of nobili Nobility. They need to win this attack to try and get themselves back in the game. Looks like they're bum-rushing this A site, sending one over the B on the flank. Needs to find this kill. It's going to be J-Ray being prone, but Risky getting the flank, clearing the site up. And two for Nobility is going to open up this site for them in a major way. Frizzy holding on the line here, but unfortunately, even though he got the jump on that approach, Kano is going to take him down first. Now they're getting the bomb planted. Pele almost finding two there, but he's going to lose his life. Nobility rising, taking two in a row now. Yeah, two in a row. Now they're in the lead and they're back on the defense, which people say is the more favorite position here in COD. So now I would have to say Nobility rising could potentially get themselves in a very strong lead here. Yeah, they just have to, like you said, do the exact same thing over and over again, which should be fairly simple. Of course, never that simple. Um, but at least you don't have to worry about spawns. All you need to do is make sure that your approach is strong, consistent, and confident. And I feel like both of these teams are bringing that to the table. But GG Supernova, especially in that last one, I felt like they just had a couple of those uh, micro interactions go uh, the wrong way for them. And it really ended up kind of shutting things down for them. Dabo. Can he find that kill? On Yes, he can. Kanwa spread out on the ground. That's a lot more body to shoot, and he's able to shoot enough of it to get that <laughs> kill. They're going to be finding that plant down onto A. Ability rising down one man. Can they get the three-man retake? Three-man retake. That's going to be a tall ask here, as it's a two-man retake at this point. 
only risky Choco left on the board. They need to start finding picks, but now it's a 1v4. It's all up to Choco, but if there's anyone to do it, it's him. We saw him make the last stand in the last game, but with 20 seconds left on the clock, it's going to be near impossible. But now he's found two. It's a 1v2 situation. Time is ticking. If he can get two in the next few seconds, Ooh. this could be major. It's a 1v1 situation. He's teed himself up with 10 seconds left on the clock. Things are not looking good. He needs to find this kill, and quick. He's through the wall. If he shoots it, he gas it. He needs to get the kill, but no, he knows he can just run out of the clock and no more time is left. Gets all four kills, but not quick enough. And that's going to be GG Supernova getting themselves back even with nobility. Like seeing Pele kind of toy with him there. He knows that you're not going to be able to get that wall bang. So he's just peeking, seeing, can he get me? Can he get me? Can he get me? <laughs> Unfortunately, of course, he's able to get him eventually, but nowhere near enough time to get the defuse. Uh, but great round played by both teams there. GG Supernova seems to be cleaning up their offense. Let's see if their defense is up to snuff this round as well. It seems like offense is the way to go for GG Supernova. It's kind of interesting how this one has worked out. And now it's 2v2. Someone's going to get in the lead here. Cannot stay tied up forever. Looks like they're going to the midpoint now. And now, through the pool, near the beach bench there, he's going to be going down. Risky AD getting a nice grenade kill, and Bowie getting one right back. It's a 3v2 to make that a 2v2. They still have Bomb planted down over on that B site. And now GG Supernova needs to play this one very carefully. Carefully is the name of the game here, but that's not very careful. Going for of the steps like that, Risky AD is going to lose his life, unfortunately. Tried his best to get that kill, but not going to go his way. It's just one man left for Nobility Rising. If they can go for that defuse over on GG Supernova, that's what they're looking for here. But his teammate's too far away. J-Ray on the site, but not able to get that defuse. Now things have gotten significantly harder for GG Supernova. Looking for the defuse. Frizzy looking the other way. Gets a peek around, but gets a kill. Does he have enough time to defuse? Absolutely not. Going to have to f uh, flee from the bomb, but... That's going to be a round for Nobility Rising. Very well done. Getting that clean pick off, making sure that you don't have to face on a 2v1 on a retake. Very simple, very straightforward, and uh, made it work for him. Made it work, and that's what you need. Every round matters here. And right now, it looks like Nobility is on pace to take this one, just always being one ahead of GG Supernova. And they need to try and win two in a row to get themselves back into that leader spot. They're definitely trying their best here. We've seen so many close calls for both of these exchanges. These teams are just trying so hard to find any advantage that they can. Seems they're going for a very similar approach to the first few rounds that we've seen. Getting those nades out. Dabo finding his way to the point. Nobody on that usual spot. Things are looking good. Things are looking nice and clean. And just one member of Nobility Rising waiting for them on the opposite side of the alleyway here. And I'm not sure if they know he's there, but they're not going to take any chances. Not even going to go for the plant yet, but Bowie finds the first blood on the Pele over uh, behind GG Supernova going for the plant now. Kanwa still waiting patiently like a cobra in the grass. Like a cobra in the grass, but one's on the prowl like a tiger and finds his prey. Breezy going to get one, Dabo going to get another. It's just down to two on the side of Nobility, but they're not going down without a fight. It's a 1v2 situation. It's all up to Risky. Now Playing a one risky one. there. <laughs> Play, you know, he took a risk, didn't go his way, but thankfully, GG Supernova able to find him before he's too late. Not going to be able to get in there and get the defuse. We're looking 3-3 three to three once again, and wow, now we're about halfway through this series. Still, anybody's game, especially when they're trading it out this closely one after the other. We've only seen one two in a row coming out from Nobility Rising since then. It's been trading. Yeah, GG Supernova really needs to win this one. They need to win this defensive round because their attack is looking pretty good here. But it's all about this defense. They need to get one of those defensive rounds to be able to win this one because unless they do that, Nobility Rising is just on pace to win. And now we're seeing a little bit of an interesting slow push on the side of Nobility. They are going for a B push, but they want to go through mm. oh, Maybe go for a little swim here. <laughs> I mean, it is pretty hot outside, but Frizzy is going to get shot down until he's cold as ice. 
down over there. GG Supernova losing two already. This is not looking to be a good situation for them. We said we need to get they need to get these defensive rounds down. And with losing Pele now, J Ray, the only man left for his team. It's not impossible, but it might as well be. This feels like a very, very difficult scenario. But can he run the gauntlet, get his way over to the site and get the defuse? Absolutely not. They're gonna pincer him, make sure that's not gonna be possible. Mobility rising taking their turn back and getting another round. Yeah, taking the round and you know, like I've been saying over and over and over again, GG Supernova needs to keep on winning these attacking rounds and they need a defensive round. Worst case scenario, Nobility wins this next round as well. And then now you're down two points and things are looking very, very dire. If Nobility wins this one, they're gonna be on track to win the entire uh, game right there and then be two up in the series that's not a good spot to be in especially when things are this close yeah like we mentioned it seems that these attacking rounds have been like the way to go uh but if you end up losing your attack around gg supernova not only will they be looking down game point but it will be a huge morale hit just like we mentioned, uh, you really want to get the win here. Dabo's going to go down, but it's not going to stop Frizzy from getting the bomb plant in his honor. Doing this for you, buddy. And J-Ray almost getting that kill there. Unfortunately, not going to get enough damage. Seeing if he can find anyone lurking through these uh, vents. And oh, so close. Bowie sliding in, almost finds him. But Risky AD going to get that pickup, cleaning up J-Ray in those vents. Pele, so close, swimming in the pool. See if he can get a rotation. He's going to dive. I didn't even know oh, he could do that. Oh my god, the nade does not care what your swimming level's at. As long as it's not a deep pool, you're going to get hit by those blasts. Frizzy, the last man standing for GG Supernova, and this attack is looking to be quite difficult. No trigger systems, however, so that nade is going to find its mark, get the kill, and can you ever get that? He does not even need to live. He stops the defuse. That's all he needed to do, and GG Supernova is going to take their attacking round. We are not looking at a 5-3. to three. No, we are not. This is going to go very, very close, like you said at the beginning. If this this keeps trading back and forth. We're gonna have to get loud sooner or later. Oh yeah. And things are looking to get pretty loud. I mean, look at that. One, he doesn't even need the second there. That just won the game right there. Stopping the defuse, great position, great plays by Supernova. Now this next, we're guaranteed to see somebody go to game points here. But whether or not it's gonna be Supernova or Nobility rising, we're gonna have to wait and see. G Supernova on the defense. They haven't had much luck with them in the past. Hopefully they can turn things around over this one. Seeing if they can find their way in. The bar is looking clear. Nobody's making too much noise. Bowie on the prowl, finding Dabo, taking down Conwell, was taken out in the meantime. Frizzy is going to go down as well, finding a nice, or sorry, Frizzy is going to take down Risky with a nice clean headshot. It's a 2v3 situation. Nobility rising, taking down one more. J Ray Frizzy's getting one return kill, however. It looks like GG Supernova might have found exactly the secret stuff that they needed to maintain their advantage. We're going to see Chaco running his way over to B site, bum rushing it, as you said before, <laughs> and uh, not going to go for the plant just yet. He wants to see if he can scope out any rotations, any flankers. He wants to play the safe, but maybe even uh, rotating to A site. This could be the ultimate mind game because maybe they're thinking, oh, he's over on B, and they rotate over it as he gets there as soon as uh, they leave, maybe. But he sees the trophy system. He sees the head. Now he knows that they're here for sure. He takes down one. Can you get one more? G Supernova, this is your round. Do you want to let it get stolen out for your favor? Just behind the bushes. Oh, my God. Uh, Frizzy's so close to nade. Can he oh, get out of there in time? No. no, forcing him to run up. G Supernova using tactics. Tactics as old as time itself, able to take that round. They're on smash point. Right? And that was an absolutely massive round here, as now that is the round they needed. They are on track to potentially win this one. Nobility now has to step it up when one of the rounds they've been losing. Can't keep going back and forth anymore. Mm -hmm. Now, one of these teams just needs one. The other, now Nobility, needs to win two in a row to try and take this. This is all on the line here. They're doing their best, and at the end of the day, that's all that matters. The friendship was the real prize. Obviously not. No, these teams want to win, and they want to win convincingly. You saw how those guys were screaming. They want to dominate, and I'm sure that they're not going to let anything get in their way. Chaco already taking down Dabo. He is not playing around, not anymore, and they are doing their best to hold these sites as tightly as possible. A is secured. The bomb is actually down on B. It's not planted. They lost their bomb plant. They're going to have to do a little bit of a risky play to expose themselves to get that bomb. Gonna have to run away from that nade. Frizzy's gonna pick it up, and now the ball is in Supernova's court, although they lost two players. They lost two players. I mean, look at that. J-Ray, though, 
Gonna try and hold strong, but that's not gonna be enough. Now, 5v5, this is it. Dun, it's dun, all dun. down to the wire. And I have no idea which way this one's gonna go. I don't know either, Matthias. If, uh, if these teams have shown me anything, it's that you cannot expect anything. We're in the final round here. GG Supernova, Nobility Rising. I believe we're gonna be seeing Nobility Rising on the defense this time around. And... GG Supernova looking good. They are on a hot streak. They've just really been putting a lot of work in, getting a lot of stuff done. They lost that last round, but I really feel like the wind is in their sails, and the Lady Luck is favoring them on this one, but we're going to wait and see how it's going to go. A little bit of a gunfight going through, but nobody's going to fall just yet. It's trying to get a rotation, make sure they're not exposing themselves too much. Bowie waiting the perfect spot. Frizzy caught off guard. He's going to go down. Dabo wow. next. Two for one. Three. three. Bowie making a statement for sure. Pele, the last man standing, and he is going down very shortly after. They're kind of going crazy on the stage. I can see them <laughs> through the door, and it's not a pretty sight. Yeah, Bowie, though, just winning it all right there. Holy moly, just three kills out of nowhere. And of course, Conwell gets the last kill, sealing the deal for the team, but holy smokes, what a way to end things. Incredible, a fantastic match indeed. We're looking at one more potentially to take up this series. Who knows who's going to take this next one. Again, it's my first time having the honor of uh, commentating a control game at this <laughs> tournament, and I don't know how any of these teams are going to be playing. I don't know how comfortable they all are. I don't know their strengths, weaknesses, is what to expect going into control, but all I know is it's going to be one hell of a match. Yeah, going into control is going to be interesting, and it's going to be so nerve-wracking for GG Supernova because so many times they put this, themselves in a position where they ve very well could have won or maybe even should have mm. won, but then something like that happens. <laughs> Bowie just gets a triple kill. Kanwa stays on the point. Last man standing <laughs> locks all the way in and carries it out to the end. You know, these are just some crazy circumstances that Nobility is able to perform in mm -hmm. but you know now the scoreboard does not reflect how close the games have been it's 2-0 mm -hmm. they're on series point they are at risk of being you know not taking this one I don't know how you deal with the mental damage that does to you right like you could either take it in a good way or a bad way you could be like well we're very close. We almost won that one. We <laughs> got it in the next lives. one. When that happens back to back, that starts to, you know, make some doubts in your mind. And I feel like it's it's reflective of a lot of things, but Call of Duty is definitely a game of confidence. I feel like if you have a single doubt about your skills, your capabilities, anything like that, I feel like you're going to struggle a lot more than you already may be. So for their sake, I hope uh, GG Supernova, they're able to push past any potential naysayers in their mind, any doubts that they might have about how this is going for them and they're able to perform at their 100 as we go into this next one but before we potentially throw it to a quick break i'm excited to i just i want to know because thankfully gg supernova even if they do lose this game they will be sent to the lower bracket they won't be eliminated from this tournament so i'm excited to see how resilient they might be coming off of a potential uh lower bracket run i know just looking at the bracket a little bit here i see that the saints were able to take 3-0 over day by day and uh seems that penji all day versus night ops is 1-1 one, one. so anybody's game saints eagerly awaiting the loser of this uh it's actually pulsive versus chaos which is 2-0 uh for pulsive right now so loser of that gonna be an exciting match to watch as well and if the games are as close as they were with gg supernova the saints have no reason to take that 3-0 in a bad way at all i mean just looking at nobility rising's performance so far it's just been absolutely insane like they have those superhero moments where mm -hmm. they just save their entire team or they wipe the enemy team off the map it's just been absolutely insane to watch them yeah for sure but ladies and gentlemen as we get ready to send a quick break Hopefully you won't go anywhere because even more action is going to be underway. You absolutely do not want to miss it. But like I said, going to have to get things sorted out before we head into the last game. Hope to see you guys soon. Take care.
Hello everybody, it's Nobility Rising vs. GG Supernova TXP3, round 3, game 3, this is it, CDL control, this is gonna be absolutely insane. Absolutely insane, does not even begin to describe what we've been witnessing here, TXP3, like you mentioned, Kanwa changing things around this time, getting the first blood himself, I believe the first two games he was the one getting first blooded, already getting another one here, but Dabo is gonna finally take him down and correct the history timeline, J-Ray looking smooth and crazy in this like 60 FPS, beautiful, trying to get something done, but ultimately he's gonna get taken down. Yeah, well, all this is happening. We're yapping away at the kills. The progress on B has reached two True. ticks. They almost <laughs> already have one just to start things off. GG Supernova gonna be moving in to try and stop that where it starts. Now we're on the prowl. Conwa going in. Gonna have to go for a re reload. It's very weak, but it looks like they're gonna make some good progress over on A. And this oh. is absolute masterclass control gameplay. I mean, look at that positioning. Oh a double kill. And Choco cleaning up the last. And four. Wow. The board. A squad wipe already. That's gonna be a full takeover on A. And B is not too far behind. Like you said, Matthias, masterclass. Choco taking down the one straggler, Dabo, over on that point. Slimming around the car. Fortunately for him, he was so low, just a single bullet was enough to take him out. And for good measure, it was a headshot as well. Bowie looking to see if he can find J-Ray. Yes, he does. Not even able to turn around in time for that kill. Dabo seeing if he can try, and try to find anybody trying to make a rotation. But Cobb with this trophy system out, and he's going to take him down. Like, yeah. Tried to throw it at him as a panic yeah. mover there. He's playing G-Mod. Uh, <laughs> but <laughs> now, Joker getting a double, though. He's going to clean up that B-side. And now, I mean, look at that. No one's even close to contest this. So this is going to be Nobility Rising taking the win right out of the gate here. And now they only do need to win two more rounds. Yeah, two more rounds would go a long, long way to ensuring your confidence and your joy going into this winner's semifinals or winner's finals i believe uh pulsive ending up winning the game over chaos so this is going to be saints facing off against them in the lower bracket winner of this well if it's nobility rising we'll be facing off pulsive uh in that next round but if gg supernova wins three more games then they will be the ones having that honor but as we head into this next round here maybe gg supernova is going to be even better even stronger even faster on this offense as we saw nobility rising do Finds one through the window. Risky AD taking one down. Looking for another. Finds it. And now that is an amazing spot. He's going to have to rotate out, though. It's been found out. Trophy system nice. down. Three kills, though. Uncontested there. And now he's going to clear out all that progress. And the defense from Nobility is looking very, very good. J-Ray, the building dweller, looking for any scraps, any loot, but Pele finding Bowie, a nice duel, but Chaco putting him down, very clean, but Frizzy jumping around like a jelly bean, taking him out mid-air. Frizzy seeing if he can find anything, but no luck. J-Ray also doing the same. Thankfully, sitting out on the point, B is looking to be as good as GG Supernova's, but Nobility rising, they don't want to take this one sitting down. Nades are being used, but they're not going to be able to find their way through. Actually, maybe I spoke too soon. Kamala piercing through along with Chaco. A triple kill, ensuring that B is not going to be taken over just yet. Bowie with a double. Now a triple. Oh, baby, a triple. I had to go for that one again. And now we're going to see if GG Supernova can even recover from that onslaught that just took place. A melee fight. <laughs> Bowie just beating him up in that building. And now 30 seconds left. Bowie with a five-kill spree. He's completely running this show on this building. 
Now we're gonna see a repeat. Oh, he just missed him. It was on the left side there. Doesn't even matter though. He's oh looking for God. another. There, now it matters. 21 seconds left and counting. Gonna go for a kill here and he gets it. His teammate is there to back him up. Do mm -hmm. what Bowie can't do in his absence. Whoa! And now 10 seconds left. They can't even leave their spawn. And nobility rising. No way! Oh. The flow state does not get that last kill. That mode. was crazy. That would have been crazy. He was reloading his... <clears throat> Nobility rising, huh? I can't even believe my eyes. We are on potentially the last yeah. round here. These have just blown through because Nobility rising has risen to the occasion as their nice. spots as nobles and defended their positions. Nice. And they also did an amazing job on the attack. And now we're just one point away from maybe just an absolute sweep in this last control map. Yeah, and they look cool, calm, and collected. And that one guy just took a huge swig from his water bottle. But other than that, they look to be on the get-go, ready to go through this potential last round and if anything is going to repeat itself here if anything goes like it did before rising should absolutely dominate on this offensive side already on b side looks like gg supernova a little slow on the start here not going to get over to b side just yet and even so they need to get some uh, rotations coming through they're still holding down a but pele seems an inches way over there oh but it's taking too much damage there he's gonna have to uh, retreat move around but that nade not gonna find him thankfully able to retreat but conwa definitely Definitely will taking him down. Yeah, ooh, on the flank though, looks like Dabo gonna be deep in there, gets caught out. Riskady gonna take out Pele. That's a big opening for them. I'm gonna keep on trucking on this B side, and I think they're gonna completely take this one because they know they need the time to take this A side. Frizzy gonna take down Risky, also going on the flank, and now they're just hoping they can maybe fully rotate this spawn around so they can get at this A uncontested. Yeah, Bowie. Seems to be a double agent here, just doing overtime over on this side. But Kanwa is going to go down, Risky AD, hoping to try. Ooh, a missile coming through. Didn't even notice that one until it was too late. But Risky AD is going to go down. Chaco is going to be next to fall. It seems like GG Supernova slowly but surely finding their footing. J Ray sliding through that door, opening doors quite literally as an opportunity to take this game back. But it seems that Rising taking two kills back. You got to remember, ladies and gentlemen, you got lives in this game mode. Lives are even right now, 23 to 23, but with a minute. Minute and 40 seconds remaining, Nobility Rising, they're making good progress on finding their way over to A-Site, but GG Supernova is going to put a stop to that push that was just about to come through. You got a minute 30 left. You got a lot of money in the bank in terms of lives so far, but they're going to keep ticking down. There's no overdraft protection here. They need to keep this one clean. Around the corner, he gets caught out, pincered there. Gets one with the teammate, though. And wow, Dabo just being the stalwart defender over here on A. And I gotta say, Nobility Rising not even getting close here. Not even, not even close. Yeah, unfortunately, not gonna be too effective. Pele finding a nice nade kill onto Kanwa. But with Chaco, where he is, he's in a great spot to help out his team with any pushes coming through. If they get to a little too overzealous, trying to get uh, proactive with their defense, he could blow up in their face. But Chaco losing that duel, that nade going up in his face, providing a cloud of smoke. J-Ray behind that door, maybe gonna get the kill, but unfortunately not. Bowie is gonna find one. Pele is gonna take him down shortly after, though. See that Dabo very comfortable on this point here, but Risky unfortunately gonna go down. Conwa not able to help him. Dabo is actually gonna go oh. down there. An insane kill, and that's gonna be Nobility Rising finding their way onto the point. This is a key moment for this game. Chaco now just doing cleanup duty, finding one, finding two on this rooftop, but it's gonna get contested. A is gonna get cleared up, and they're gonna start undoing the progress that Nobility Rising just made. Yeah, now that was the time for Nobility Rising to strike. They made a lot of good ground there, but it looks like GG Supernova is just back in position here. They have such a good defense here. It's like a no man's land. You cannot peek any of these mm. angles here that you need to cross to get into this little gas station over there. That A site is just so hard to breach. But now look at this major flank coming through on Bowie. He needs to move fast. The teammate found one. He needs to find the other. That's going to be it. They both go down. It's a trade. Oh and now Lord. two of them are on the site. They need to take down these trophy systems, lay down some of their own. They need to get their defenses up. There's four seconds left in on the clock. But it's paused because they're making good progress over on A. And now the spawns are not looking good. There's two left no on the site. No respawns left in sight for GG no Supernova. Way. They've lost too much. And now this is looking to be it. This is looking to be the series right here on Contested. That's going to be Nobility Rising taking all three games in the series and winning it all in the end. I am utterly shocked there. It was just 
out of nowhere, basically, they were able to just completely steal that victory. I didn't even notice until it was too late that they had no lives remaining. <laughs> I saw that they had six. I blinked. They only had two left. And just nobility rising, what I've respected so much and what I've noticed about their gameplay is they're so calculated with their offense. Usually, you find that players end up throwing themselves, throwing themselves, just running in one after the other nonstop. But... I've seen them just remain calm, collect themselves, and make organized, planned pushes. And I feel like that is the difference between winning and losing in a Call of Duty land of this caliber. Yeah, and another thing I want to applaud from Nobility Rising there is they make those decisions that have an element of risk. It's not mm -hmm. always the safest decision. Sometimes they burn a lot of time. Sometimes they throw a lot of guys at this one problem to see if they make it work. But those risks pay off because the enemy doesn't expect the riskier plays you know they expect the safest play the most consistent play from the from the enemy team but when someone does something crazy when someone puts you on edge you mm -hmm. know maybe you don't even do anything for like 20 seconds you wait you hold the angles you wait for them to peak that's how you start to flip things in your favor, and I love that gameplay style from Nobility Rising. Absolutely. you got to have some confidence in yourself and in your teammates for sure, and they have plenty of that in spades. Ladies and gentlemen, that was an excellent series. 3-0, but... I cannot overstate enough, or I can't I can't make it clear as enough that the score does not reflect the closeness of that game. It was basically as close as it could have gotten up until the end. It was a hair raiser, and I have been so overjoyed to be able to bring that one with you guys. No, yeah, that was an amazing series to start things off. We still have, I think, four more to go through today, so it's going to be a day full of Call of Duty action and fun, so that means no Lady Rising is going to be facing off against Pulsive in our next game. Yeah, and over on the lower side of things, we're going to see Chaos versus Saints, and then uh, whoever ends up coming out. Oh, actually, who's going to be facing off? Oh, there it is. Yeah, Gigi Supernova going to be facing off against Penjay all day. Nobility Rising against Pulsive. Chaos versus Saints. These are our last three games that we got going on right now. And I believe they're all going to be covered on stream from this moment onwards. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you've been enjoying the action, make sure you stay tuned. Don't go anywhere because we're just getting started with the intensity. Thankfully, we've had to cut. We've had the joy of covering with you. I've been Daniil, joined by Matthias. But we're going to see you guys later on today as we go to a break, getting ready for the next series. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned.